Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, <clears throat> I bought some sunflower seeds and these are the mammoth Russians and what I want to do is I want to start them early and I'm going to make a little tiny greenhouse to get them started in um, so that they come up faster than planting them in the ground. I'll be doing both um, but I want <coughs> I like to have mine some, you know, bloom earlier and then some bloom a little bit later. That way they're kind of, uh, <coughs> I have them and can enjoy them a little bit longer. Sunflowers are one of my favorites, so I like to have a lot in the yard. Now what I'm going to do is I filled my bucket with some soil and then I'm going to take my watering can and I'm going to wet all this down just till it is fairly soaked so it's nice and wet And then I'm going to take my milk jug and you want to cut the bottom and leave the top hooked on. So you want to take your knife and right under the handle where the handle is, I'm going to start here because it's flat, you want to take it cut your milk jug down. And then I leave the back, leave that hook, and don't whip, cut your fingers off. <laughs> that would not be good. I should have sharpened the knife up a little bit before I started. open so it flips open like that kind of bend it down and then take your wet soil and moist because you don't want it sopping wet but ah. lay down <laughs> Then put your wet soil in here in the bottom. This is a great way to start seeds. You can actually start them like this like way earlier. This is uh, I think the 2nd of May. And if you want to start your vegetables or any kind of seeds that you have, flower seeds or vegetable seeds or anything this is a great way to start on and then you can actually even in February or March you can take these right outside or you can put them on your back porch okay that is pretty good I'm gonna move that and I am gonna go wash my hands okay now what I want to do is, now these are the Mammoth Prussians. I like these. These get really, really tall. Uh, they get, they can get up to 12 foot. And then I like to stagger my sunflowers. I usually grow all different kinds. Matter of fact, I have been wanting to get my seeds out and look to see if I had anything else. And then there is all the seeds. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and make some holes. I think I'm going to put three in a row because as soon as these get 
about two or three inches tall. I'll open this lid up, let them grow up a little bit, and then I'll top my soil off um, as high as I can, let them grow a little bit longer, and then I'll take them out and put them in my yard. Now what I'm going to do, because not every sunflower seed will grow, so I'm going to put two in each hole, and then if they both grow, great. And I'm just putting them down in here. I'm dropping them down in each hole that I made. And then if I see neither one come up, I'll put some more seeds in and start, depending on the time of the year. Okay, so that gives me, that was three, four, okay, that's 12 holes, two apiece. So that gives me 24 plants, if I'm lucky. And then I'm just gonna put the seeds down in a little bit. And then cover them up. And you can start anything like this. And this is a really great way to start your spring and summer seeds. I love doing this. I didn't do this last year, <clears throat> but I've did it previous years. And you can save these and keep using them over and over again. So then you get your you got your seeds all covered up. And then all you want to do is I gotta push this down. Oh, there we go. Close that up. I wanna make sure that this is nice and dry around here. I got some soil. I am a messy gardener, so to take you can use duct tape you can use packing tape I found my packing tape so that's what I'm using and then get your lid on there oh my god that's loud and then just go around take your jug shut oh here comes my little helper <laughs> the noise attracted her. Come on. You just tape it all the way around. I'm going to double tape it because... My jug got kind of squirrely because I smushed it. I don't know if I can push that out or not. There we go. And then you leave your top open. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I thought I had my marker right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mark mine. Sunflowers. That's right, SF. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> and then you leave, your, you leave your top open so they get air. But this will act as a little greenhouse. And... It'll make them pop up really quickly. Now, like I said, you can take them out. You can set them right outside. Um, you want to set them in a sunny area. Mine are going to go outside. Um, 
Uh, I don't know if I'll set, set them down. I might go ahead and put mine out in my greenhouse. Just so it's out of the way. Because I have some planning to do. Um, and then that's all there is to it. It's really easy. And in a couple weeks or a week I'll check them and then the rest of these um, I'll plant right in the ground but I live in Ohio so our oh I lost the sunflower seed our planting date we really should not plant anything our frost date is May 8th so but sometimes I go ahead and plant anyhow so um, if it's seed, you know, you usually don't have to worry about it. I got my, yesterday, I got my dahlias all planted. I got those all put into pots. And just getting them started. And then, um, I can get them put in the ground. And then I also found my palladium bulbs. And I got those all planted in, getting them ready. And those, these will all be going out into my greenhouse, too until they start popping up a little bit and um, my frost date after my frost date and let's see if I can go out and plant everything and get it going so I'm real excited about that so that's easy guys um, if you want to give it a try like I said you can even do it early like in February even if you're cold and this will keep as long as you're setting it in the Sun and it stays wet it'll be fine so that's it guys, um, hope you try it, if you do let me know, and I will talk to you later, bye, peace.